Hey, what is up guys? John from Magic Tech Review. So last video I did the unboxing for the LG Stylo 3. Really impressed with the unboxing experience. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the review. Let's go ahead and dive deep into this phone. So leave a like guys if you enjoy my content. And please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't to join the family of Magic Tech Review Ninjas. Now let's get it started. <music> Alrighty, so last time I left you with the unboxing of the LG Stylo 3. So for comparison, here is the LG Stylo 2 and the ZT Grand X Max 2 that I'm always talking about. So here we are, LG Stylo 3, LG Stylo 2. I do see a lot of differences already. Uh, this is not going to be a full-on review because literally I've only had a couple hours with this LG Stylo 3. But if we're taking a look back at the LG Stylo 2, uh, you can see here... That the design, you know, has the glass kind of popping out of the design of the LG Stylo 2. So it's kind of like it ends abruptly and then it has that glass kind of just cut, jutting out. So that's kind of why I said that the phone felt a little bit wider. Because when you get a grip on here, you know what I'm saying? You get you get the edges right here. So you get this kind of, kind of sharp edge right here uh, where the glass finally just juts out of the display and I do see uh, the LG Stylo 3 at least it feels thicker in the hand or more substantial I should say so it has a bit more of a better premium feel to me uh, so I do like the changes that they made in the LG Stylo 3 they do have the back button and fingerprint sensor in the back now and the keys the the volume keys are now back on the side of the device so uh, it makes it easier to take a screenshot um, so to take a screenshot is just Volume down and power, boom, right there. So one-handed, you can do that real easy. All right, and you still have your double tap feature to turn it on and off. So that's on, that's off. So nice there as well. And it does have a quad-core processor at one four. 1.4 gigahertz 16 gigabytes of storage it comes with a little bit over 8 gigabytes of internal storage when you boot up the device so 8 gigabytes is basically for you it has a 13 megapixel camera on the back and 8 on the front so it is ready to go let's go ahead and take a look at the dialer so this is your dialing menu so pretty much standard stuff there you do have your let me see, you have your emojis there. This is the LG keyboard, by the way, so don't be too, too uh, surprised there. You can download a different um, keyboard. You can download a different style. You can go to LG Smart World. So let's go ahead and take a look here at LG Smart World. I'm not very familiar with LG Smart World, but I've been told that that's where the themes are at, stuff like that. Okay, so there we go. Best fonts. So we got different fonts. Best wallpaper. So that's where a lot of these... Um, so LG Smart World, that's where all your stuff is at. So customization, LG Specials, Premium Picks, Theme Picks. I guess here are your Theme Picks right here. Not going to really load any themes on this phone, but I am going to show you real quick about the theme so time to relax it's magic time or music time uh, bucket list 2017 when we're leaving so ooh, need some me time I do like that Nintendo controller or video game controller that caught me off guard there so this is pretty cool uh, I'm not really one to theme my phone too much I'm kind of like a just a you know meat and potatoes guy or you know just get me you know get me going get me working or whatever type phone so as you can see guys, this phone does not have an app drawer right here, but that is a quick and easy fix. You literally can just go to settings right here, and you go to do, 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 display, you go to home, and then you go to home and app drawer. So there you go. You got a nice home and app drawer right there for you to play with. So let's see what it comes with here. You got Amazon, you got calendar, calculator, camera, clock. 
contacts, downloads, email, file manager, FM radio, which is really nice. I like that. Gallery, uh, messaging, music, phone, Play Store, quick memo, settings, LG Smart World, tasks, voice reader. You got your Cricut installed apps there, your Deezer, your My Cricut, and your visual voicemail. You got your Google stuff here. Google Chrome, Gmail, Maps, YouTube Drive, Play Music, Play uh, Movies, TV, Duo, Photos, Docs, Sheets, Slides. So a uh, lot of neat little things there. Not too much bloat there. I don't see anything actually. So that is absolutely awesome. Let's see here. So let's go into the camera once again. As I showed you guys on the other, on the other video there, we do have a nice camera. I got the uh, beautification all the way on. Of course, come on now. Got to have that beautification on all the way. Uh, you do have your various modes here. And then you can go into your settings here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the settings. Video resolution, FHD or HD. You got HDR, timer, cheese shutter so you can take pictures. Take a selfie with a raised hand, gesture, that's cool. Tag location, gesture view, save as flipped, simple view. So there you go on that one. Oh, let me show you the back camera as well. So this phone is a significant phone. So this is a pretty big phone, guys, like I said. So it's not a, not a teeny phone, 5.7 inch, by no means a small. So let's go ahead and keep digging on through. Let's go ahead and look at the settings real quick. Try not to make this video too long for you guys. I know you guys have things to do and lives and, you know, other stuff. And you might just want to, ah, theme. See, look at that. Theme right there. It's right on the thing. High contrast. Black bold. Huh. I see. I like that. I do, li I do like that, in fact, theme. So, black bold. Nice. So, let's go ahead and theme it up. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have done that when I'm doing a review. But we do have the camera placement here on the left. And we do have your notification light on the left right there as well. We have your speaker grill right there. Nice metallic looking speaker grill right there. We do have your mic and your headphone jack and your micro USB placement right there. Wow. I like I like you. I like you a lot. Wow, this 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 I can this I can get with. So you see how that theme goes. So the theme is really all the way throughout the settings. I like this one. This is what I would use, I think. So we got your sound profiles. Let's go ahead and take a look. We got sound right there. Let's go ahead and with volumes. So let's crank her all the way up. Hmm. Wow, that little speaker's definitely putting out a little bit of volume there. So, so we got the speaker on the back, and then they do have the little dimple right there. So if you do lay it on a flat surface, it will not get muffled by the desk, as you just saw there. So definitely nice there. Uh, you know, we got your ringtone. You got your ringtone ID. So if somebody calls you and you want uh, it to be... Let me see. Compose ringtones for favorites only. Oh, nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn that off. Sound with vibration. Vibration type. Do not disturb. Lock screen apps. So a lot of things here. Let's go ahead and go into display. So you got home screen, lock screen, theme, home touch button. So you can change the, the touch buttons, of course. Font type, font size. So you definitely can uh, bold text. That's really nice. That's really nice. I like LG how it does that. So that's a nice feature there. A lot of customization going on with the LG Stylo 3, definitely, as well as the Stylo 2. So we got your general language, your keyboard, location, accounts and sync, accessibility, short keys, Google services, fingerprints, pen. Let's go ahead and take a look at the pen. Open when pen is removed, pen pop, shortcut. Hmm, I see. Select an app to show and pen pop. Nice. So you can actually put all these things and open them once your pen is 
off. Pen uh, screen off memo. Write memos while the screen is off. Nice pen detection. Pen keeper. So definitely nice there. Uh, date storage, battery, memory, apps, backup and reset, and about phone. So battery saving. So that's pretty cool. Battery saver. Battery percent on status bar. So. And it's giving me discharge time, estimated time remaining 32 hours for 34% discharging. So nice as well on that one, on that front. Uh, so yeah, I guess uh, that's pretty much it as far as that. I was asked to look at the if there was an auto brightness. So yes, there is an auto brightness right there. Whoa, did you see that, guys? That actually just went by itself. <laughs> that's kind of cool. I like that. So you hit auto and look at what it does. Whoa, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about that, but I do like how that just did that. Like it literally did it by itself, like a little ghost. Why are you doing that, phone? All right, so let's go ahead and put the brightness all the way back up, and then just to show you guys how low it goes, let's go all the way down in brightness. So wow, that is dark. So definitely not not too uh, bright even on its lowest setting. So you can actually read at night. Um, so yeah, so we went over music. We went over the camera, a few apps, some themes, uh, different looks on the phone. So yeah, maybe I'll do a more in-depth full review later on. Uh, and after, you know, certain people have bought it and everything like that. Of course, guys, you know that I work for Cricket Wireless. That's how I get all these phones. So, But I'm not paid by Cricket Wireless to show you these, uh, these phones. I'm just giving you my honest opinion and thoughts. And I'm um, just presenting to you, it to you. I'm not really giving you a yes, go ahead and buy it or no, don't go ahead and buy it. I'm just giving you basically a nice run through and review of everything that I see and I enjoy about these particular phones. So this is John from Magic Tech Review. Thank you guys for watching and you guys have a good one. Peace.